Dante, Dance of the Deadly Hands. some open gore passes, okay? Simple passes, some of you may have seen, some of you may not. We'll go over some real quick details that may help you solidify these passes more effectively for you. Okay, so Jeff on your back, that way. All right, let's say we broke the guard, okay? I don't care how you broke the guard, you broke the guard, all right? We can do this pass standing or kneeling down on one, or kneeling in a combat stance. Whenever you break the guard, you must automatically put this knee up, okay? If you don't do that, you get caught back into full guard. All right, so I'm gonna drive my knee up right away. My hand, my palm, is gonna go to his hip, all right? Often people put it on the stomach, they put it on the ribs. I want my palm to be in that bone, all right? And I want my fingers pointing outwards. And that's how I know I'm putting good pressure down onto his bone of his hip. I don't want his hip to turn and face me, okay? So anytime his hips are facing me, it's gonna be more difficult for me to pass. I come here, connect my elbow to my leg, all right? If he brings his leg over, that's what this arm is here for. I can always pass it back over if I have to. I can deal with that. Or as he goes to bring it up, I can flare my elbow out and stop it that way. I'm gonna push here, I'm gonna push down on his knee. I'm not expecting to push his knee all the way down because that means I'll be like spreading his legs apart and he'll actually fight me much, much harder. So all I'm doing really is controlling this leg and coming up in front of me. I'm gonna drive my knee to the mat, keep my foot on the inside. Boom, like this. Now that my hand is here, I'm gonna drop my hand to the mat. And I'm gonna drop it by his hip, okay? I don't have to worry about like trying to shoot from here, okay? Because if I do that, I'm slowing the game down and creating space, and he may start catching unhook on me, okay? If I go here, down by his hip, even if Jeff catches unhook now, I just clap my elbow down, and his unhook is nullified, all right? So regardless of what happens, Hand goes to the hip, and my hip drives into his. And then I step through, all right? I can grab his head, I can grab his collars, I can grab his arm. If he's being defensive, I may just put my hand out in front of his face. If he's being super defensive here, I may pull his sleeve up or grab his elbow. I don't want to slide to the bottom. I'm going to drive my hips into him, keeping pressure the whole time. And the problem is most people will try to do this and maybe create some space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just follow through, smashing his arm down, and then move into a tight psycho, side control position, okay? All right, so one more time without all the details. Now I'm starting from standing, I come in here, boom, break, drop, all right, pass, hip down, drive my hips inside, pull, push, and get the side control, all right? Another option we have is when we were looking at passing open guard, okay, person's uh, on their back, feet is up, all right? I'm coming in, I might be playing on my hips or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab his ankles, and I'm gonna simply take a step out to the side. I'm gonna take a step out to the side, I'm gonna do like a side kick, all right? And I'm gonna kick down into his leg, bringing him over. And I'm gonna pass this leg to this hand and drop it down into a leg drag position, okay? Now once I create that leg drag position, I wanna make sure that, depending on where my knee's at, if this knee's below, I'll brace it out so he can't fall back. I may put my foot back into his back, but I'm gonna put my weight down into his leg, all right? But if you come on this side, in order for me to pass, I'm gonna take my hand, and I'm not gonna reach back, I'm gonna come back and put the back of my hand on my back, then slide down and catch his leg drive my shoulder down into his leg, and then come in into a cradle or pass into a tight side control position, okay? This was made popular when um, Cornelius passed one of the Mia's brothers a couple years ago. So they grab, open guard, step to the side, kick, and I'm gonna leg drag over. You can do a traditional leg drag or you can smash, all right? Come down, put my weight on, pass to the side, all right? Um, stupid simple pass we have is a step through pass, okay? Grab here, I can simply step through and stuffing this leg in between my legs, okay? Now, 
it's gonna be difficult at some points to step it once you make the pass. So you might wanna stuff it now and then step through, okay? Now, the simplicity of this pass is extremely easy. So what happens is we tend to leave a lot of space, okay? Because it's almost passing so easy that we kind of get excited or, or feel like, oh my God, that was way too easy. Now what am I supposed to do? So like anything, we always wanna make sure there was no space. So if I stuff this leg through and I step through, right away my knee is gonna drive right back across boom like a knee on belly will you get knee on belly maybe so will you get knee on belly point maybe so what I am trying to do is make sure that my opponent is not turning and now beginning to face me okay so I'll drive my knee down right away boom come into knee on belly if you prefer to go to mount from there side control whatever you want baseball bat chokes Whatever attacks this, and you want, it's up to you, okay? So one more time with that one. He's on his back. I can stuff, step through. I'm still holding on to his leg, and I drive. And when I drive, I also catch a cross face because I don't want him to turn back into me. And then from there, whatever attacks I want. Now, let's say he sits up on that situation. I'm grabbing his feet. He drives his feet down. He sits up. He hits like a arm wrap or type of koala guard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the back of his head, all right? If I can't grab his arm, I'm not gonna worry about it. If I take my knee, I'm gonna drive it into his chest. Boom, right here. I'm gonna drive my knee with everything I got into his sternum as I pull his neck up, okay? Now, I wanna make sure that my elbow is not in line with his shoulder. I'm gonna make sure it's inside of my knee, all right? Creating much, much more pressure, all right? And I'm keeping his head pinned into this, this little hole. Same where my knee's at, okay? At some point, the pressure gets so bad, they begin to turn sideways, okay? And that allows me to cut through, grab that arm, sit through, and come into a nice tight side control position. You could probably actually pass into mount. It really just depends on what your person is doing. Um, there is no perfect pass. We're simply just looking at ways to get through depending on how my person reacts, okay? So one more time, as I'm coming to step through, he may come up. Catch it nice and tight. I'm gonna grab the back of his neck, tuck my arm in, drive my knee, and look, he goes back, my knee goes across this time, all right? So now I'm allowed to go to mount, flatten out, boom, catch my mount position. Understand if they hold onto my leg and they hold me in quarter guard, their arm is trapped, all right? So they're making things much worse for themselves anyway, okay? So all they're doing is maintaining a bottom control position for me, all right? So from here, I can sit off. This arm has been isolated by him. So I'll come over, crank his neck out, post on my head, and then wait till his arm starts to come out eventually on its own, and I'll be able to attack, all right? So those are some stupid, simple passes for open guard. Uh, of course, there's a lot more to it. There's things that you can actually jump to mount. There's no right or wrong, like I said before. It's really on just the counters of what my person is doing to me.